I have been wanting to do this story ever since Gravity came out. Let me paint the scene. Sandra Bullock is stranded in space and needs to get herself from her capsule to a nearby space station. She blows herself out of the airlock and immediately begins spinning out of control. But she has a fire extinguisher with her. She uses the extinguisher to get herself under control and then she uses it to navigate her way to the space station, saving her life. I love a happy ending, but come on, really? Okay, that is our question, fellow space firefighters. Can a CO2 fire extinguisher operate as an impromptu jetpack in space? Where do you guys want to get started? We need to see how much thrust this thing can put out. I totally agree. Let's do it. One. When it comes to compressed air canisters and propulsion. It went through this one and it was working its way through that one. Open rocket. The Mythbusters have an explosive <laughs> and somewhat unpredictable <laughs> history. And when it comes to fire extinguishers, well, let's just say they're a familiar feature on the show. But to date, the Mythbusters have yet to combine the propulsion of compressed gas, a fire extinguisher, and a semblance of control. This myth is all about how much thrust comes out of a fire extinguisher. So the guys are gonna start first up by exploring that thrust. I'll show you what I'm thinking about by starting first. I've got my own idea about this. <laughs> I'm gonna show it to them first up. It's like a gnome. Just to grease the wheels of their mental machinations. All right. <laughs> I put a pointy head so I'm aerodynamic. As soon as I lie down on this creeper, I want one of you guys to hand me a fire extinguisher and we'll go from there, okay? Okay. okay. All right. Yep, Adam might be wearing a purposefully preposterous pointy hat. All right, are you guys ready? But this is the crux of the myth. Here we go. This is CO2 thrust test. Can you propel yourself with a thrust from a fire extinguisher as if it were a jetpack. In three, two, one. How do they do? Aside from cheating and using your feet, you did pretty bad. Adam's creeper may be a bust, but that doesn't stop the guys. The key to maximizing their fixed amount of propulsion is the reduction of friction. So they're trying two systems of locomotion with lower friction bearings. Totally 90s roller skate test. In three, two, one. propelled me across the stage. I did not think I was gonna move, actually, so I didn't fall and it worked. That's far more promising for the myth. And when Jesse loads up on his skateboard... Three, two, one. It's clear they're on the right track. That was absolutely incredible. Dude, that was awesome! Was right. I was expecting to move maybe a little bit. I was not expecting me to go that far. I felt like I was in a rocket ship. Liftoff, we have a liftoff. All right. You guys said you wanted a frictionless vehicle, and luckily enough, I had one. This table contains all the parts you need for an air bearing. Like a hovercraft? Indeed. Thank you. You're welcome. Have fun putting it together. OK. Wait, can you tell us how to put it together? No. A bearing is used in engineering to reduce friction between moving parts. It's like playing whack-a-mole. And another name for a hovercraft is an air bearing. That's good. It uses air to reduce friction between the craft and the ground. 
and it does it by inflating a very thin, flexible skirt so that air escapes in 360 degrees around that skirt, creating a cushion so that the device is in fact hovering and not touching the ground. <laughs> this is our leaf blower and it's the engine to our hovercraft. That is why it's the perfect low friction test platform for the Mythbusters to test their fire extinguisher. Foot pedal is ready. With the hovercraft assembled, a quick test to check that it, you know, hovers. Oh. Ah! <laughs> so cool! Elijah! <laughs> oh my god, this actually works! Oh my god! No! Woo! It's actually hovering! Ah! The myth is that you could propel yourself in space, like in the movie Gravity. Ah! I'm feeling pretty confident that we could use a fire extinguisher to propel yourself in our space simulated environment. But controlling in what direction you want to go is a completely different story that I'm not so sure about. So off to the ice rink to find out. Yep, they have the low friction vehicle to represent the astronaut. Now they need a low friction surface to represent space. The friction-free environment we need for our final set of experiments is this ice rink right here in beautiful Santa Rosa, California, built by Peanuts creator Charles Schultz in 1969. The official name for this building is Snoopy's Home Ice. Oh yeah, and get this, because it's a space special, I brought a part of one of my space costumes. This is called the Communications Assembly, but the unofficial name for this at NASA is the Snoopy Gap. How perfect is that? Unexpected bucket list bonus time. They're gonna let me drive the Zamboni. Uh-huh, here we go. <laughs> what? I can add a Zamboni to the list of my skills now. So this is our test of the frictionless testing environment test. test. You, you just want to ride the hovercraft. Of course I do. <laughs> All right, here we go. Perfect. Perfect. Are you ready? I am so ready. OK. And three, two, one. Oh! Dude. Awesome! Do you think he's gonna make it to the other side? Maybe. We just ran a test of our testing environment, and it is maybe one of my favorite testing environments I've ever been part of. Oh man, this is so much better than I thought it was gonna be! <laughs> <laughs> Look at this! I'm gonna make it all the way across! We've got an air bearing, already a low friction device, set up on an ice rink also a low friction device, and John Mark, who gave me a gentle push and sent the hovercraft 200 feet all the way across this arena. Holy cow! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. <laughs> it is so much better than I was even hoping it would be. It is perfect for testing this story. He pulled out the fire. It's in a So the hovercraft works. The fire extinguisher has had an impromptu test fire. It's time to get down to work. First up, as per the movie, Sandra Bullock's character uses her makeshift jetpack to stabilize a wild spin. Oh, 